you want to watch the whole show exclusively on odds.com, just hit the link at the bottom of the screen. So we move on to 165-166. Kansas City Chiefs at the Miami Dolphins. This is going to be a fun one. Uh, let me move. And this is the final game of the 1 p.m. slate. Let me move here. All right, this is going to be a good one. I'm looking forward to this one. Chiefs 11 and 1, 6 and 0 on the road at the Dolphins, 8 and 4, 4 and 2 at home. Hard Rock Stadium, Miami Gardens, Florida, 80 Fahrenheit, partly cloudy, 8 miles per hour. Chiefs open up as 7.5 point road favorites. That's gone to 7. You can still get 7.5s, but if you do that with the Chiefs, at least, you'll be getting plus money. This total opened up at 49. It's now 49.5. Chiefs coming off an underwhelming 22-16 win at home over the Broncos, clinched a playoff berth for the, and they moved to 11-1 for the second time in franchise history. Mahomes 25 of 40, 318 yards, one touchdown, zero interceptions. Travis Kelsey eight catches for 136 yards, one touchdown. Clyde's Edwards Elaire was active but dealing with an illness, and didn't see the field. Le'Veon Bell 11 carries, 40 yards. As a team, as a team, excuse me, the Chiefs ran 22 times for 134 yards. Tyran Matthew. Twice picked off Broncos quarterback Drew Locke. Quarterback Antonio Hamilton had to be helped off the field after blocking a punt early in the fourth quarter. But this is a healthy group. There's a few teams in the NFL right now really healthy. Chiefs are one of them. Dolphins won for the seventh time in eight games. Their 19-7 win at home over the Bengals. Two attack of Iloa, 26-39, 296 yards, one touchdown. He's 4-1 and one as a rookie starter. Seven touchdown passes. Still has yet to throw an interception. Jaseki, favorite target, nine catches for 88 yards. Gaskin ran 21 times for 90 yards, but Dolphins were just one for 10 on third down. Their number two ranked scoring defense has allowed 10 points over the last two games. They held the Bengals to just 25 yards in the second half. Guard Eric Flowers has a left ankle injury, and linebacker Landon Roberts a chest injury. They left the game and did not return. Their list is questionable. Wide receiver Jakeem Grant banged up. He didn't practice. Uh, today, he's listed as questionable. And then their three running backs are still out. DeAndre Washington, Salvon Ahmed, Malcolm Perry are out, but questionable. And offensive tackle Adam Pankey also missed, was inactive last week and is questionable this week. Chiefs, Dolphins, seven and a half point or seven point spread. Take it away. Uh, I mean, the Chiefs have been doing exactly what they need to do to win games. I, I they haven't been blowing a lot of teams out like they're capable of. I, it almost feels like they're in cruise control until the playoffs. Um, this Miami team, look, they've got a, uh, a very good defense. Xavier Howard got ejected from last game. And he's right now, I, I you know, I'd, I'd like to know a corner that's playing better than him this year. He's been fantastic, but, I still don't know what I think of Tua. I think it's nice that he hasn't thrown an interception yet, um, but it's not like he's been exceptional. It's not like he's been great. In fact, he's been bad twice. He's been good once. He's been okay once. I'm not super high on him, and a lot of that has to do with where he played college. I mean, I've said before I'm not a, I'm not a huge backer of Bama quarterbacks, uh, they just have it too good in college. And, uh, yeah, I, I think this is just a really tough call is because I, I want to back the Dolphins. I want to back the Fish. I think I, – I do believe that they'll be up for this game, and I, and I think that the Chiefs will be in cruise control. But, at, again, we've seen what Andy Reid uh, can do to inexperienced quarterbacks – so, uh, this is just a really difficult call for me. Anyways, I don't, I certainly don't see a comfortable play in this spread. Um, and, and I mean, even if you gave me a free play, I think I'd flip a coin right now with it. Well, I like Dennis Garcia's look on the under. We have the one of the best defenses in the NFL, and I know that the last couple spots against very weak competition probably isn't your best example of how good they are. Dolphins allowing 10 points over the last two games, but this is a challenge for the Dolphins' defense. And in that, I mean, that game against the Bengals, there was a lot of yelling, and there was, um, you know, what, five players were kicked out of the game. It was a feisty game. Feisty. feisty. Good point. But Flores was right in the middle of that shit. I loved it. I love seeing it. Yeah. 
That's why I mean that's why that team loves him. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Uh Dan Scarcy said when Jimmy asked everyone for best bet on Sunday, I, I said KC Denver under. It was a great bet. Dennis, are you saying that uh uh you like another KC under and that could be your best bet this week? Well, he does like the under. He gave us a final score of 27-20 Chiefs. I like that look, too. I certainly like that look a lot more than I, I like the spread here. I like the under at 49.5. I think it's just high enough. I'm going to pull the trigger on the under 49.5. Just high enough. Nice opportunity for the Dolphins to show something. But in Not saying that, Alan, how do you feel about unders? <laughs> <laughs> Not flush. I hope is he going to catch this Ravens first half. Let's get that for my guy, Not flush Allen and the Allen family. Okay, I think that uh, that this first half under might be safer. The last thing I'd want is the Chiefs to feel like they need to. You know what? I take that back. Uh, if if they're ahead, if they're ahead comfortably, then they'll just take their time. Let me just see what it is first half. This first half total, 24. I like that. Oh, and Noli knows in the house, like in the under. I might move on the first half under. And not the full game. Uh, explain why you like that better. <laughs> Sorry, just laughing at nut flesh. Uh, I don't. I don't. I feel like the. I I don't see either of these teams firing out the gates offensively this week. I don't. I don't see Tua doing it at all, and I don't see. I haven't seen urgency from the Chiefs. I've seen the Chiefs do exactly what they need to do to win. Uh, you know, they, they have been great on opening drives until I put money on them in the first quarter and then they completely shit the bed. But I just don't see a ton of urgency in the Chiefs right now. They know they're better than everyone, so they're they're playing – they're doing exactly what they need to do to win games. And really, I, I don't see Tua coming out in this spot and balling out in the first half. That's why I personally like the first half under more than the full game. Uh, but I understand why they would both be in play. I don't want to double up on this game. Uh, I just prefer this pick. You know, this makes sense. The last thing I want is if the Chiefs actually need to score points because they do it. They, so, they can do it in bunches. Okay, I'm interested. I'll, I'll, I'll come with you on the first half under. Uh, do you want me to line shop for you? Uh, yes, please. All right, let's get that for Bebsy. This is the final 1 o'clock game on the docket. I need to speed up. My apologies. All right, let's get this first half spot for Bebsy. Wow. There's wow, you've got options, baby. Holy shit. Two point. It ranges to two two points. Um it's crazy. This is nuts. You know what? I think the bet three sixty five and points bet twenty four is that the right you know, it's like um the right amount of juice, but uh the lowest you can get twenty three and a half at plus one hundred. FanDuel is offering you 25 and a half at minus 130. Bet Rivers offering you 24 and a half at minus 127. And points bets offering the 24 at minus 110. So it's bet 365. Uh, I'll take the, I think I'll take the 24 at minus 110. That makes the most sense to me. 24, oh, sorry, Bebsy. 24 minus. 110 points, but I'm going to be doing the same thing. Th those aren't crucial numbers there. I mean, you know what? The 24 and a half uh, would be getting that hook on it, but that's not worth 17 cents. So, uh, 
Okay. Oh, they're talking about. Let's just see what's going on here quickly. Pollard has three carries for zero yards, and I'm going to snap. All right. Well, you go for a walk. Get yourself a beverage. Get yourself a beverage here. <laughs> 